Alright, hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 sequestration model using CMG software. Previously, we have created or we have modified our model to make it from limited reservoir, limited aquifer to infinite aquifer. And we already run on the gem and in this video, we will visualize the results. Okay, so I already call my file and now I will just directly compare it with 2A case, the limited aquifer. So now we have both of them. Now I will place the infinite case on the dashboard and I will add the limited case drop it on dashboard so we should have two windows okay wait a minute this is the okay so now we have two windows okay we can see the difference we are currently looking at pressure they are the same no actually they are not the same okay here the pressure is around 12,600 kPa oh yeah they, they are quite the same but the scale is different here all right, so now let's just directly, okay, check the display and play the pressure. On the right, we have limited aquifer. The pressure just go directly increases, okay? The pressure increases because we have limited volume. So if we inject CO2, of course, the pressure will increase. On the left side, we have infinite aquifer. So if you inject something, maybe two years, if I'm not mistaken, the pressure hardly changes. The pressure hardly increases because you inject something very limited, limited duration, you know, but the volume is very huge, big. So yeah, the pressure hardly changes. Clear difference. What about gas saturation then? Go back and then play. Very different as well. On the right, you have, because of hysteresis trapping, the movement is very limited only in this area. You can see the yellow blocks there due to hysteresis trapping and the red one. CO2 cannot go to the above section of this aquifer because of we have the boundary. So CO2 will accumulate on the top and then just spreads there. But because here on the left we have infinite aquifer, we have infinite volume on the, the, the right side, CO2's plume tends to extend farther. CO2 plume tends to migrate farther but still we have some co2 trap because of residual trapping the yellow color very different right and gas saturation below the critical gas saturation or hysteresis trapping very different as well go back to the start All right. Interesting. This is the saturation 0 0.37, 0 0.36, more or less the same. But the CO2 is only propagates this far on the right. But on the left, CO2 can go further. 
Okay. Lastly, I want to look at the gas mass density. Okay, very different. In this case, the gas mass density, 540. Here, 975. So on the right, we have high density because of, you know, high pressure. But on the left, we have lower density because of lower pressure. So that's why on the left, we have CO2. The CO2 has higher tendency to go up because of lower density, right, compared to the right case. So on right case, the density very high, 974, 970, very close to density of water. So that's why they, their movement as well is very limited compared to the left case. If you want to see the water density, 1,900, okay. Yeah, because we have higher pressure again on the right compared to on the left. If we go to pressure again, we can also see the difference. On the left, we still have 12,000. On the right, we already have 44,000. All right. Time series, of course, we want to check the special history.